This reflection is called One Faith Body, Always Learning, Always Standing. There are two things one strives to do, always interconnected throughout one's life, standing and learning. From birth, we work to prepare our bodies to stand up, and we learn from every experience. As we grow, we grab onto things, we hold our mother's fingers, we pull up on her clothing, we grab furniture, we grab even the poor dog or cat. We learn, don't grab Kitty's tail, don't pull on the tails of anything else, like lamp cords, etc. Don't put finger extenders, forks, etc. into anything but our mouth, but especially not eyes. The wall's eyes, gonna let you guess that one. Email me if you get it. Humans are more resilient and helpful. Their standing so remain, so they remain in reach and assist during this time over and over and over again. And they also help by making sounds at baby that eventually coalesce into language. Learning continues our whole life, as does trying to learn right from wrong. The focus again when one begins in faith, as discussed in our first reading. Also later in life is a different standing process related to faith, that which is given or ordered by Christ. Christ gives a man the command, Arise! Come again to your feet and be alive. And the man stands and is alive. Or, as in our gospel today, when the Christ removes a demon, he will order it, leave this world, leave this person, never speak, and leave this world. Removing the standing and life from the Cretan. In faith, and in life, we must be on our feet, alert to all things, learning always, awake to all the new and old signals, aware of the good and the evil, evil in its ever-changing form, and responding to those learned and new signals of our faith body. Is my body of faith signaling there is a need? A sister of my faith body is in need of assistance from us. We are all one body. Each person who is a Christian of your knowledge is part of your faith body. What is your faith body signaling today? Is your one body healthy? I hear it calling out, fighting against the equivalent of a virus the attacks by the Antichrists, the frequent assaults by those pretending to be of the body, but then showing to be hate-filled, discriminating, run by the evil of hate, and also advocating guns in the sanctuary. Speak up. Speak out. You can say, this is not a church of which the Christ would visit. You could say, but the Christ teaches only love of all of your neighbors. This means no discrimination or hate is possible in a truly Christian church. Nor are guns an instrument of death, darkness, and of evil. Not where the Lord of light and love and lo life presides. If you wish to worship death, darkness, and discrimination, Call yourself something else, for you are not of Christ. You are not, and some likely never were, Christian. This is what you can say to, to defend your faith body against this virus. And then we will all pray for those of that group who can be saved. Some are already gone to the Prince of Darkness. Keep your body safe fed, clothed, housed,
guilty and faith filled. Pass the word along. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you always. Let us defend our faith body together.